just happened to think of it. There's a little job here me and you's got to do some of these days. Well, uh, what's that? Oh, take away that old watering trough there. Maybe we'd better get out the first thing in the morning. Ah, uh, shucks. No, I was thinking up work to do. Well, never mind. Now. What you want to take the watering trough away for? Besides. Why, that's been here in front of the store for the last 40 years. Yes, and Besides, but... I got two catfish in there I'm keeping. Yes, but six alive there. What use is a watering trough these days? Why, the darn thing's just an eyesore. How's that? Eyesore. What sore? Aye, aye. Well, uh, what in tarnation you saw about? I ain't sure about nothing. I you just, just said you was. I didn't. You did. I did, did not. I didn't. I said you. Now, shut your darn fool trap. I ain't sore. Well, you certainly talk like you was. Well, I ain't. And if you're going to lodge this evening, you better quit chewing the rag and be getting along, young fella. You now. Ah, uh, the lodge meeting's been called off this evening. Called off? Why? Ah, uh, shut the grand, all-powerful, invincible, most supreme, unconquerable potentate got beat up by his wife. He <laughs> <laughs> did, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, say, say look, look at that car coming there. Where? Right there. Gosh, you might. you never seen one like that before. <laughs> say, it sounds powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look at this come look at these bricks, eh? Bet it's got a big engine in it. Well, well, I don't, you know who it is? Who, who is it? I can't see. It's Major Barnes. Major Barnes? Yes, sir, that's who it is. What's he doing in a car like that? I don't know. That's a, um, well, uh, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, good evening. Howdy, no, Major. How, how, how do you, do Major you? Barnes? Land of Goshen. Say, that's the right first looking car you've got there, yeah. Major. Ain't it? Ain't you never seen nothing like that one before? Oh, well, yes. This is a foreign car. Foreign car? Eh? Yes, indeed. You know, I bought it abroad last year when I returned to Major. What? You don't tell me you was an Asian. Oh, yes, indeed. On a little exploring trip in the Gobi Desert, we were looking for fossils of prehistoric animals. Uh, what kind of animals? Prehistoric. You know, many millions of years ago, the Gobi Desert was inhabited by great monsters. For example, there were animals with front teeth a foot long called dinosaurs. Well, uh, what was their back teeth called? Their, uh, oh, their back teeth... Oh, they're not important. They uh, were... They're pretty darn important for chewing gum. But these animals didn't chew gum. Well, uh, were... what'd you do, Major Barnes? Uh, shoot them? No, of course not. I'm talking about prehistoric animals. They're extinct. How's that? Prehistoric animals. They've been dead for a million years. Extinct. Uh, no wonder if they've been dead for a million years. Oh, but you don't understand. An extinct animal is one that doesn't exist anymore. An animal such as, uh, such as, uh... I know, such as Little Rollo. Little Rollo? Yeah. What on earth are you talking about? What's Little Rollo? Mrs. Pinkley's canary. What, that's not an extinct animal. Heck, it ain't. The cat got it this morning. Yeah. Oh, but you can't refer to a canary in that sense. The canary was... Is in, uh, in that what? Sense. The canary... Sense what? Sense the cat got it. No, no. I mean the two words aren't the same. Extinct animal and canary simply do not coincide. But that's exactly where it did go, inside the cat. Oh, but the definition of extinct... Well, uh, didn't you get nothing but uh, them Peter Stork animals? Not Peter Stork, prehistoric. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did get something else. I bagged an elephant. One day now, we were... What kind of bag did you use? Why, a bag of peanuts, Jeb. You get the elephant to take a peanut and, and why... You do nothing, nothing of the sort. You don't. You set a trap. And when the elephant gets into it, you've got him. As I say, one well, day we... Well, hey, uh, listen, uh, what you bake the trap with, uh, Major Barnes? Fruit. Fruit, huh? Yes. One day uh, we were... Fruit, huh? Yes. You bait the trap with fruit. And the elephant eats the fruit. One day well, we were... Uh, going... how does the elephant open the can? Why, is a can opener, Zeb. Now keep still and let Major Barnes tell you. It story. isn't canned fruit. Oh. It's fresh fruit. And sometimes... When trapping wild animals, you use no bait at all. Just set the trap near a water hole, and you'll catch whatever's looking for a drink. Whatever's looking for a drink, huh? Yes. Bet you must catch a lot of Americans. Oh, but I'm well, not referring Well, Major to... Barnes, uh, listen, um, uh, 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 did you ever shoot any of these here gnus? A what? A gnu. You know, like you have in crossword puzzles. Oh, you mean you. He don't. He means you. Yes, but I mean you. Who, me? I didn't say you. You did. I said... You did. 
I said I mean you, an African antelope. Say, who are you calling African cantaloupe? Think the cantaloupe, eh? But it's, 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 I know. It's, 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 think you can drive me, uh, drive up here and call me a bunch of names. You're oh. crazy. But I'm not calling you names. I simply said you. You. An animal. Yes, Ed. You just said you an animal. Oh, I said nothing of the sort. Well, what I... did you say, then? What did you say? I said... I said... Oh, dash it all. I don't know what I said. Well, if you don't know what you're talking about, you better keep the trap shut. Say, you look here. Yeah, now, wait uh, just a second. Just a second, Major. Um, Ed didn't mean no harm. Uh, he just uh, might be hard of hearing, you see, and... And, and, and get mixed up a mighty time, that's all. Now, is there something you wanted, or... or, or Why, uh, yes, there is. I want to buy a box of candy. Oh, a box of candy. Well, now, uh, Ev, you go inside the store and get it, will you? Well, uh... Okay. Yeah. All right. But I ain't going to take no lift from no dad darn dude. And I want the largest and most expensive box you have. All right. All right, Jack Burnett. You'll get it. Hmm. Um... You're, um... Going out carting this evening, eh? Well, I'm calling on Miss Schutzenheimer, if that's what you mean. Yeah. You know, I kind of figured you was, eh, seeing as how you're all slicked up in your best clothes. <laughs> you know, I figure your ten sort of likes you, Major. <laughs> well, I, I hope you're right. Miss Schutzenheimer is a very charming young lady. Yeah. In fact, I'm quite fond of the whole family. Mr. Schutzenheimer and I may be associated in business someday. You mean he's going to buy an interest in your air circus? Oh, no. The air circus is more of a diversion with me than a business. But I was instrumental in helping Mr. Schultenheimer make a few dollars in the stock market. Oh, yeah. And say, I heard about that. He had to double his money for him in just a couple of days. I guess you're pretty smart in a business way, ain't you, Major? Well, not necessarily. You know, it's quite simple. You see, there's a concern manufacturing one of my airplane inventions. Yes. Every time they get a big order, their stock goes up. Yes. And I happen to know about the orders in advance. Yes. So it's a very easy matter for me to know when the stocks are going up. Oh. Well, say, um, how about giving me a little tip on that? Well, I couldn't do that, Mr. Winterbottom. You couldn't. That would be violating a confidence. But I can do with you just as I did with Mr. Schultenheimer. I can invest your money for you. And double it for me? Well, I can't promise precisely that. But I can assure you a profit. Well, um, how much money would I have to put up? Well, any amount you like. Any sum from a hundred dollars to, uh, several thousand. Oh, gee. Well, I'll tell you. Drop in tomorrow morning early and I'll have a hundred dollars for you. Very well. You understand, of course, that I'll have to hold it until I know the stock is going up. Oh, yes. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, you just uh, hold hey, on to it. Hey, Mr. Winter. Oh, oh, so it's you, is it, Major Barnes? And then I'll Hector. Uh, Why, uh, yes. I'm Major Barnes. Well, for your information, I'm Hector Smith. Oh, yes. You're the chap who's going to work for me. Yes, well, well, we'll talk about that later. I got something else to say to you, and say it darn bad, and it's just this. You stay away from Hortet Schultzenheimer, you big bum, or I'll <laughs> bite you. That? What's that? Why, you impudent young puppy, are you talking to me? Why, I've got a good notion to slap your face. Hey, now, Major, Major, let me... Yes, you have. Well, let's see you do it. Come on and do it. Slap my face. Eb, Eb, I'll Eb. give you just three seconds to apologize, young man. Yes, I... yes, I thought you'd back down. I thought you'd back down. You're yellow. That's what you are. You're yellow. Why, you insignificant little... Look out, look out, Come on, yes, come out. on. Let's see you slap my face. Major, look out for that water drop. Why, are you rat that water drop. Oh, 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 oh. I warn you, Major Barnes, the man who crossed my trail is doomed. Well, come back, come back here, Hector. Come back here. Come hey, what's, the matter? Matter? what's the matter going on in here? Oh, let me help you out, Major. Let me help you out. You all right? Oh, oh Hector, push the Major in the water trough, Ed. Oh, no, you're yes, right. all right. Quite all right, but... Blasted young idiot. Oh, now listen, listen, Major, I, I hope you won't fire Hector for this. You see, he didn't mean nothing by it. You won't fire him, will you? Fire him? Fire him? Say, I wouldn't fire him for the world. Not for the world.